Greetings, mercenary. I represent a third party who wishes to make use of your specialist skills. We are aware of your usual fees and are comfortable meeting the cost. In fact, we have several contracts for you to execute. All are in the newly formed Siberian Republic. As you are aware, Siberia was once part of the Russian Federation, which used Siberia's huge natural resources to bolster Russian economic success. But Siberia did not gain from this relationship. In fact, it was merely exploited and used. A political movement was established. The people for an independent Siberia. Even the regional governor, Nergui Kurchatov, was swept up in the wave, joining the movement and cutting off Siberia from the Kremlin. The Siberian War of Independence followed. Russia's armies contained many Siberians and defections were rife. The war was over quickly. Kurchatov became Siberia's first prime minister, governing his new country with his family and friends. But, like many before them, Kurchatov and his allies hoarded this wealth and ordinary Siberians were once again left wanting. Betrayed and angry, a militia formed, calling themselves the Siberian Wolves, and they declared war against their government. They attacked oil fields and stole state assets. Their leader, Nastya Surikova, has now become a hero to the people and Kurchatov's nemesis. Our proposal comes with one requirement. You will need to wear a new high-tech mask we supply. It will facilitate direct communication between us. But there are other benefits for you, including combat enhancements. My designation will be Handler. Yours will be Seeker. I look forward to working with you. Greetings, Seeker. You should have already received the mask. It is a highly advanced prototype that enhances your capacity in the field and syncs with your equipment. The mask allows you to upload contracts data to the client after each mission. Before we drop you in the designated location, we want to make sure you understand the tech we've given you. For this purpose, you'll be taken to a secure training facility hidden in a secluded mountain location. You're going to perform a series of simple tasks to familiarize yourself with the mask and for us to make the necessary adjustments. Report back when you're at the location, Seeker. Greetings, Seeker. On this mission, your primary target is Dmitry Ivanovsky. He is a former Russian Armed Forces General. He earned the nickname Bio Ivanovsky during the Second Mongolian War due to his persistent use of both chemical and biological weapons. He is first cousin to the Siberian Prime Minister Nergui Kurchatov. During the Siberian War of Independence, Ivanovsky defected from the Russians to join his cousin. Kurtatov gave him the notorious Altai-24 Soviet Military Research Facility as thanks for his support. Our intel for this mission comes from an agent planted in the facility. Before our source went dark, his intel specified that Ivanovsky had completed human trials of his bioweapon. We understand that Kurchatov plans to use the weapon to secure Siberia's disputed border territories. The General's plans are stored on an encrypted military-grade laptop. Find the package, hack it, and obtain those plans. The weapon's test results must be destroyed. Infiltrate the main bunker and upload a virus to the mainframe. Find our informant if you can. We need to know if they're still alive. Above all else, find and terminate General Ivanovsky and recover any samples of the weapon. Stay focused, Seeker.
Greetings, Seeker. Your contract is Igor Sekov. He is CEO of Sekoil, Siberia's largest oil exploration and production company. Igor's father established the company and made a fortune buying state-owned assets during privatization in the 90s. But Igor was more interested in guns, cars and girls than business. And during the Siberian War of Independence, he fled to London. There he met Olga Korchatova, the party-loving youngest sister of the Siberian Prime Minister. Their marriage brought Sekoil and the Siberian state even closer together. They now plan to reclaim the disputed territories of the Arctic by sabotaging oil rigs belonging to Russia, Denmark and the United States. They will leave evidence that implicates the Siberian wolves. Sekov is on his way to his local office at the Kolchak seaport. His chief strategist, Leonid Nishlev, will also be there, coordinating the assaults. He must be eliminated too. Sekov's death won't be enough. You need to recover their list of primary targets. Find their electronic logbook at the port. Retrieve its contents. Along with his smartphone, we need to know who inside the government knew of his plans. Finally, we need you to plant explosives on the nuclear-powered icebreaker. It must never leave the port. Scatter their plans, Seeker. Greetings, Seeker. Your contract is one Sasha Petroshenko. He is the boss of Siberia's largest criminal syndicate, the Yakutsk clan. They trade in drugs and weapons. And, as is common now, they're human traffickers too. Petroshenko was born in Moscow. There he rose from petty street criminal to influential crime boss. It was with Petroshenko's help that Nergui Kurchatov became Moscow's mayor. When Petroshenko was forced to flee the capital, it was Kurchatov, then Siberia's new governor, who allowed him to set up business in the Yakutia region. After the War of Independence, Petroshenko was given protection by the new Siberian government. He is now attempting to gain control of Western Siberia. These territories are run by his rival, Agvan Dorzhev. It won't be easy, as Dorzhev is also backed by the army. In an attempt to avoid all-out war, these two bosses have agreed to a private meeting at Petroshenko's dacha in the Bekatov Valley. Inside the property are hidden video recordings that you must obtain. Agvan must also be killed. Then go to his nearby camp and retrieve information about his business operations. It will be useful to our employer. Finally, Petroshenko is preparing to execute a prisoner his former deputy, Vladimir Romanovich. Free this man, and you will be richly rewarded. Stay focused, Seeker. <laughs> Greetings, Seeker. Your next contract is Dr. Antanasia Alikanova. An expert genetic engineer, she runs a research laboratory inside the Arakcheya fortress on Shenikov Island. Antanasia and her colleague, Dr. Nikita Zaitsev, have recently announced the creation of the world's first genetically edited babies, female twins, who are disease-resistant. Antanasia is now planning to expand the program to edit the embryos of hundreds of couples throughout Siberia. This time, she will alter DNA that controls height, strength, and intelligence to improve the stock of the Siberian people. Antanasia has the backing of her father, Xenik Alikanov, Siberia's chief of staff. But she is afraid of retaliation from fanatics, other governments, and anyone who thinks she's playing God. 
Following the recent assassinations, she has hired a body double to stand in for her and conceal her real movements. This double is wearing a device that will trigger an alert if she is killed, warning Anthanasia of imminent danger. Eliminate the good doctors Anthanasia Alikanova and Nikita Zaitsev. Locate and destroy the encrypted details of the eugenics program. Find evidence of any unsuccessful genetic experiments. Keep a steady hand, Seeker. Greetings, Seeker. Your next target is the Siberian Prime Minister himself, Nergui Kurchatov. Since independence, Kurchatov has been developing a radical AI-controlled hypersonic missile defense system. Kurchatov and his chief strategist, Xenik Alikanov, plan to implement this system along Siberia's borders with China, America and Russia. However, the recent assassinations have forced them to advance their plans. Siber Area's rulers fear that their national enemies will use this period of political unrest to annex parts of the country. So Kurchatov is deploying the missiles immediately, despite caution from the military that the system has not been fully tested. The first consignment of missiles will be transported by train from the Sibirskaya 7 railway junction. To mark this occasion, Kurchatov is visiting the site to broadcast a speech to the nation. This will be your best opportunity to terminate him. Alikhanov is also on his way to Sibirskaya 7. He too must be eliminated. Finally, we require you to disable the transport train and to find any evidence that this missile system is being implemented without appropriate trials. Keep a steady hand, Seeker. You've proved your worth, Seeker. As promised, here's your truth. I represent a powerful alliance concerned with the global balance of power. Our mission here was to regain control over the region. Unfortunately, Kurchatov's government turned out to be highly uncooperative. The region is even less stable than it was before. With your help, we were able to correct this error without revealing our involvement. Shutting down Ifanovsky's project diffused any potential biochemical retaliation. Removing Sekov deprived the oligarchy of its main source of funding. Gorjev and Petroshenko supported the government from the underworld. They needed to be stopped too. Alikanova was on the brink of perfecting a super soldier. She could not be allowed to finish her eugenics research. Eliminating Kurchatov and Alikanov was the final piece of the jigsaw. Their missile program would have plunged the region into a war no one could win. Weakened and decimated, the remaining Siberian oligarchy will now be much easier to control. We can now move on to more pressing matters, as our goals go far beyond the local conflicts. Your work for us isn't finished. You should hear from us soon, Seeker.